Welcome back. Wink News is Campaign Central, and right now Republicans are joined together in Cleveland for the Republican National Committee. And here to discuss more about this, political expert Dr. Bart Rossi. Thank you so much for joining. Always good to get a perspective on what's going on because let's face it, a lot's going on at the RNC. Yeah. And this is day three, right? Make America first again. Let's dive right into the, the big talker here. Uh, Governor Mike Pence, right. VP candidate, official, going to be speaking, addressing the crowd. What do we expect? Well, I think he has a, a big task ahead of him because Christie gave such a good speech last night. He gave such a good presentation of himself. But I think Pence can do it. I think he has to project himself as very conservative, consistent, a guy who's a good listener. He looks like that. Mm -hmm. I think if he projects a personality that's a winning personality for the Republican Party, uh, it'll go a long way to really help him relate to, to Donald Trump. But he doesn't have the traits and characteristics that a Christie has. Christie's very vibrant, uh, abrasive, arrogant at times, similar to Trump. But how does Pence actually present the attack guy that mm -hmm. Trump needs? We're going to have to see about that. We're talking about this and your background with psychology and such, this personality trait with Pence versus Trump versus Christie, it is different, but it kind of, would you say, it balances them out? Well, sometimes you can get a good contrast, but psychologists always say that likes attract and people who are alike do better together. Uh -huh. So I do think that uh, Trump would do better with, with a Christie, actually. But, like you say, sometimes a contrast will work, and Pence is going to have to really do some uh, heavy lifting to get to where he needs to be. But I think he can pretty much do it. There's a lot of experts that say Trump needs Pence because he, he's got that, that, that governing role that Trump essentially needed. Do you think this could help him with the delegates that may were on the Stop Trump movement? Do you think maybe hearing from Pence could possibly turn a few Republicans' heads towards the Trump campaign? I, I think it can because what happens with, with Pence is that he's very conservative and he will be able to project a solid conservative background. Twelve years actually uh, in, in government as a legislator, you know, as a congressperson. Yeah. And then as governor. So he, he brings in a lot of depth as well. And I think that can help bring in some of the conservative folks in the Republican Party and make a more united front. And I think the, the Republican Party did a great job last night of being more united. I, yeah. I give them a high mark for that. Well, I think finally, you know, the gavelin's down and finally it's official. Let's talk about the official nominee, Republican nominee, right. Donald Trump. Uh, we've got about 45 seconds left. Where is his head at right now? Well, he's got to be thinking about presenting himself. As an authoritarian person, he's not going to change the way he is, and I, I wouldn't recommend that he does. But he also has to find a way to approach women. We talked previously about women and how we can actually get some of them on stage to talk about him in a positive mode. But he also needs to think about how does he project out to Hispanics and blacks so he gets some of that vote. Mm -hmm. And I don't think he's there yet. I think he has to figure out how an authoritarian personality and a tough guy can also pitch to the minority segment. Well, Dr. Rossi, we appreciate you bringing your opinions on the matter. Of course, always uh, welcome here. Of course, we've got one more day, well, today, and then we've got one more day tomorrow, so we look forward to seeing what's happening there. Good to see Thanks. you again. All right, folks, stay with us. We've got more news weather coming up right